the hero of the Turkish world. Ibn Husayna was born on October 18, 1970 in the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan. After finishing the school, he was called up to the Soviet army. At that time, the Armenian separatists who benefited from weakening of the USSR were fully mobilized to seize the Nagorno-Karabakh, an integral part of Azerbaijan. When the first military clashes broke out in Nagorno-Karabakh, Ibn Hussein rose to the rank of sergeant major for his exemplary service in the Soviet army in the Amur region of Russia. On January 20, 1990, he learned that Soviet troops were deployed in Baku against the unarmed people who had defended their native land and protested against the central government and that many of his compatriots had been killed. As a sign of protest against this bloody incident, Ibn Hussein gathers around Azerbaijani soldiers and starts a hunger strike demanding their return to the motherland. The command sees the solution to the problem in early withdrawal of Ibn Hussein from the army. It was a unique event at that time. The attempt of the Armenian separatists to tear away Nagorno-Karabakh, the historic territory of Azerbaijan, with the support of the organized Armenia Mafia and the Republic of Armenia, and the incompetence of the political elites that governed the USSR at that time, laid the foundation of collapse of the world's largest state. The Azerbaijani people who faced aggression stood in defense in this unfair struggle. On the background of the collapse of the USSR, and the real chaos, the Armenian side was fully mobilized to carry out its intrusive plans. But the people of Azerbaijan, unprepared for war, were completely left to their fate. After returning to Azerbaijan in 1990, Ibn Hussein established a local self-defense group of volunteers in his native Kojavan region. He gave his soldiers special training. His endless passion for sports, his skillful use of firearms during the Siberian climatic raids, and his military skills in the Soviet army played an invaluable role in his future battles. Ivan Husseinov had exceptional military services in the failure of the Armenian occupation plan to seize a vast area of the Kuh River, the preservation of a small area of the territory of the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Region, which had not been declared in the unpopular war for Nagorno-Karabakh between Armenia and Azerbaijan. self-defense team created by Ibn Hussein gradually becomes an intelligence team. This group routinely crossed into areas controlled by the Armenian armed forces, carried out diversion operations, seized the enemy's military ammunition as a loot, exploded heavy equipment and military bases, and provided information about the locations of the secret positions. Ibn Hussein never used weapons against the Armenian civilian population and soldiers of a subordinate special forces did this. As a glorious warrior, Ibn Hussein have made a phenomenon in the 1992-1994 war, signed incredible military successes, and wrote his name on the history of Azerbaijan and the world. The military achievements of Ibn Hussein have been investigated by special services in many countries and have been proven by numerous facts, which can never be a subject of debate. His greatest military success was recorded on June 12, 1993, personally dismantling the internationally renowned Armenian terrorist Monte Melkonyan, nicknamed Awo, and as a consequence of destroying a large-scale attack by the enemy. According to intelligence reports, an Armenian commander called Awo was brought to lead the Armenian military units in the direction of Agdam Kojavand. This is the famous terrorist Monte Melkonyan the creator and the actual leader of the Asala terrorist organization. Although a citizen of the United States, Monte Melkonyan was quite literate. He devoted his entire life to terrorism against the Turks. Monte Melkonyan, the most beloved student of Ramiro Shakal, who is considered the world's number one terrorist, was considered to be a highly specialized explosive expert. For this reason, hundreds of innocent people were killed in the terrorist attacks against Turks in Europe under his leadership. He was involved in street battles and wars in the Middle East. His fight against the Israeli state within the various terrorist organizations formed in the region did not indicate his love for the disadvantaged Palestinian people. It was a desire to gain combat experience. Melkonian has been the organizer of several bloody terrorist attacks in Europe. 
Finally, a terrorist who was arrested by the French police for a terrorist act that resulted in numerous deaths at the French Ole Airport in 1986 and has long been wanted internationally is sentenced to six years in prison. It was also interesting that one of the leading forces in the organization of such crimes was sentenced to only six years in prison. His immediate release from prison and his immediate deportation to Yerevan and Nagorno-Karabakh is also a subject for investigation. Melkanyan was one of the organizers and leaders of the Kojali genocide, one of the bloodiest pages of the Karabakh war. Ibn Hussein of promises to avenge the blood of the Azerbaijanis and collects information and operations of the Armenian commander Awan and eventually destroys him as a result of his own special operation. Destruction was prevented by the Armenian armed forces planning and facing the loss of new land by the Azerbaijani side. One of Ibn Husayn's exceptional military accomplishments is that he has shown an example of personal bravery for the achievements of the army's military and military positions. It's no coincidence that today the military units of our army facing the enemy positions have established a contact line in that area. The team, which did not agree with the idea for the first time, later witnessed how much Ibn Hussein took the right steps. Today, the Azerbaijani flag is wrapped in trenches, and Azerbaijani soldiers are guarded. On December 26, 1993, when he returned from the trenches, Ibn Hussein landed on an anti-tank mine, almost fatally wounded, and spent 28 days in a coma. The doctor's brigade from Moscow operate Ibn. Although a unique operation is successful, there is no guarantee of complete recovery. Shortly after leaving the hospital, he returns to the front line, has long struggled to recover, and despite the physician's bad prognosis, he does so at his own expense, thanks to sports. On October 9, 1994, the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Haider Aliyev, awarded him the Order of the Flag of Azerbaijan. Azərbaycan Respublikasının prezidenti Heydar Əliyev, Bakı şəhərinin yeni günəşli masivində yaşayan keçmiş döyüşçü Azərbaycan bayrağı ordenli İbad Möksimoğlu Hüseynova məktub göndermişdir. Məktubda deyilir. Örmətli İbad Hüseynov, Azərbaycan torpaqlarının erməni işğalçılarından müdafiə edilməsində göstərdiyin iqidlik və şücayətə görə mən öz fərmanımla səni Azərbaycan bayrağı ordeni ilə təltif etmişəm. Sənin kimi şanlı döyüş yolu keçmiş bir gəncin ailə qurmasına əlbəttə sevinirəm. Sevib seçkiyin gözəl Azərbaycanlı qızı ilə birlikdə səni ürəkdən təbrik edir. Sizə xoşbəxt həyat, ailə saadət arzulayıram. Ibar Hüseynov has repeatedly met with the President of the Republic of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdoğan, and many Turkish officials. Hüseynov, who was repeatedly invited to the cities of Turkey by special invitation and met with great interest, is regarded as the hero of the whole Turkic world. On April 28, 2015, one of the streets in Ankara, Turkey was named in honor of Ibar Hüseynov. In many Turkish cities, Ankara, Eskişehir, Kahramanmaraş, Gaziantep, Kuşehir, Adana, the streets, parks and museums are named after the hero. There are also streets in several cities in Azerbaijan bearing the name of Ibar Hüseynov. He was awarded with the Order of Honor and Courage and other medals of Turkey. Two feature films, six documentaries, and numerous books about the glorious martial arts, novels and narratives, and countless articles devoted to Ibar Hüseynov have been written. Ibn Hussainov has been gone unnoticed by foreign journalists and analysts. Russian historian Professor Oleg Kuznetsov, who wrote a fundamental work on transnational Armenian terrorism, acknowledged that the hero of the Karabakh war, Ibn Hussainov, had a special role in the fight against terrorism. Richard Lapaitis, a well-known Lithuanian military journalist who witnessed bloody battles at that time, wrote in his notes, I saw a small, fully armed band in the Azerbaijani army at that time, a special 12-man squad led by Ibn Hussainov. Uzbek researcher and journalist Shukrat Burlas has shot a documentary about him, entitled In Heroes Trace from Uzbekistan, and the presentation was held in Baku. Well-known Russian investigative journalist Yevgeny Mikhailov made a film about the hero and devoted his book A Special Forces Soldier of the Soviet Army Became a Hero of the Turkic World to Ibad Hussein. 
As a public figure, Ivan Husseinov traveled to many countries – Turkey, Uzbekistan, Israel, Ukraine and Russia. During a visit to Russia in 2018, he made a bold speech about Karabakh in the Russian state Duma and left traces in their memories. Yevgeny Mikhailov speaks about the need to use the Ivan Husseinov factor as a bridge in deepening Russian-Turkish relations. Ivan Husseinov, who is warmly welcomed by both Turkey and Israel, has already been accepted as a public activist. Ibar, who was once remembered with a special intolerance to an evil enemy, successfully continues his peacekeeping mission to protect the honor of his country. <laughs> Ben derim benim balalarım tek, hamını balafetesi vuruştur. Hamını balafetesi vuruştur, torpağımızı alsın.